Hi, my name is Justin Kogo. I'm here in Oakland, California. Uh, born here, 1984. And in kindergarten through the sixth grade did just fine. Went to kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. Went to uh, Charles P. Howard Elementary School here. And here at Charles P. Howard Elementary School, um, life was uh, going good. I was uh, getting good grades in extracurricular activities, and I um, um, I got good grades, and I, I did after school stuff as well. Um, lived with my parents and grandparents, other relatives. Hung around my hung around my parents and grandparents and relatives, and uh, went, went went around. I did I did good in school, got good grades, and I did extracurricular activities. In the fifth grade. Me and mom were sitting at home and we were just having a little uncomfortable conversation, but we weren't like, oh, having huge fights or arguments. I was still doing good in school, doing extracurricular activities. So we were having a little uncomfortable conversation and we were like, hey, you know, we were like, hey, you know, uh, we were like, hey, you know, uh, we're having a little uncomfortable conversation, but we're still able to talk. And I was still able to go to school. I was still able to do good. So we were having a little uncomfortable conversation. And uh, we watched a Sally show on TV and said, oh, you know, there's a Sally show. Let's go, let's go talk on the Sally show. So we, uh, we, we saw the Sally show. And we said, let's go talk on the Sally show. We were able to talk. I was still doing good in school. I was getting good grades. I was in extracurricular activities. So we saw the Sally show. So let's go, we said, let's go talk on the Sally show. Um, we went to talk on the Sally show, and we were able to talk. I was doing good in school, talking to my classmates. My mom's going to work. Sisters talking with her. Uh, talking with sisters, sisters living with us. And we went around. We were, we were, we were able to talk. So we went to talk on the Sally show. On the Sally show, instead of... On the Sally Show, instead of talk, the Sally Show didn't want to talk. The Sally Show um, took us, and we were able to talk. I was I was doing good in school. I was talking in school. I talked to my counselor, talked to my therapist. But but instead of try and talk to us, the Saladis Raphael Show didn't try and talk to us. The Saladis Raphael Show brought me as a little kid in, and at 11 years old, the Sally Show took me aside from my mom and told me. Little kid, we want you to go inside the studio. We don't want to know anything about you. We don't want to try and have a conversation. And I was able to have a conversation. I wasn't starting fights. I was able to go to school. I was able to go to extracurricular activities. But the Sally Show didn't want to know any about, anything about that. The Sally Show didn't want to know, God, what, you know, what's, what's going on? What are you having a, uh, what, what's going on? The Sally Show didn't want to know what was going on. The Sally Show wanted us little kids to start acting bad. And I wasn't just going and acting bad everywhere. I was acting good. But then we had an uncomfortable conversation that we could talk about. We were able to talk. The, the Sally Show didn't want to talk. So we went around, we went around, and um, we were able to talk, but the Sally Show didn't want to talk. I, I wasn't starting any fights, I wasn't starting any arguments, but the Sally Show didn't want to bother talking to us or getting to know us. I was doing good in school, I was doing extracurricular activities, I wasn't starting any crap. And I was able to talk. I was talking to my classmates, my mom was going to work, I was talking to extracurricular activities, I talked to my counselor. The Sally Show didn't want to know what's going on at home, what's going on in school, what, what were you able to talk? Etc. The Sally Show took me at 11 and said, just go inside the studio and act bad inside the TV studio full of adults and TV cameras. I hadn't even really talked with any other person besides my mom and I wasn't starting any fight or argument so it wasn't me that was the creator of any bad so I went around able to have good conversations the Sally show didn't want to try and have any conversation the Sally show took me and the Sally show said little kids um we want you to come inside the studio and start acting bad today little kids we want you to come through uh come through the studio and go and um be bad for the camera outside on the street corner outside on the come and be bad for the camera outside on the street corner and then let us act bad and then the Sally show offered us cigarettes I wasn't starting any bad I, I wasn't starting any bad or arguments or anything like that and I wasn't trying to um, 
uh, I was I wasn't wanting to do anything bad, and I and I wasn't starting any bad. I was um, not the fight or argument starter. I, I, we were just having a little conversation at home in private, but I was able to go to school, get good grades, do extracurricular activities. My mom was going to work, and we were totally able to talk. The Sally Show didn't want to talk. The Sally Show said, "Little kids, go inside the studio with your mom and the audience. Do some bad things." The Sally Show told us, the "Little kids, before us, little kids, anything bad." As we were able to have a cordial conversation at home, the Sally Show told us, "Little kids, little kids, go and do some bad." for the uh, TV camera and the Sally Show told us little kids to play with cigarettes so so us little kids and families were able to talk and I wasn't starting any fights or arguments but the Sally Show told me just go in and start acting bad inside there the um, TV studio I was sitting at home and watching TV, playing with toys, getting good grades, building models. I built like little model boat and the little model airplane. I, I built models. The Sally Show told me, just go and start doing bad things for the camera. And the Sally Show offered me cigarettes. So what did I do? Oh God, they, they told me to do bad. I did that. It, it caused a huge fight. And there was a big fight between me at 11 and, and, the, group, and, the, and the group of audience members. I... Um, I then, I then got beat up at every school I tried to go to after that. I went to school here at Charles P. Howard over in uh, Oakland. I went to multiple elementary schools and, and, and daycare. I never had a problem. The Sally Show um, told me to act bad multiple ways, and I could never finish school ever again. Before the Sally Show, before the Sally Show in kindergarten to the sixth grade, I never had a problem. Went to school after school, just moved on, never had any problems. And I, and I even did extracurricular activities like sports, camping trips, field trips, and um, other extracurricular activities. And I did that and did good in the kindergarten through the sixth grade. After the sixth grade, when the Sally Show told me to act bad, act bad, act bad, I got beat up in every school I tried to go to in junior high school. I couldn't finish school. So after the sixth grade, after the, after the sixth grade, after the sixth grade, there was no more school. Just imagine, I was getting good grades and I was in extracurricular activities before. After the Sally Show, I couldn't even walk into school. I was getting beat up. So there was no more school or extracurricular activities. The Crazy Sally Show told us little children to be bad, and I was in extracurricular activities. They didn't even want to know anything about me. They told me to go be bad, be bad, be bad. They screwed up. They did that in um, New York City, New York in 1995. And now it's May 2020 in Oakland, California, back here where I went to my elementary school. There's no one really here. It's shut down because of the COVID virus or something like that. And um, yeah, here at um, Howard Elementary, I remember going and going around as a little kid eating. I think I went in here, I remember eating lunch and doing, doing good, you know, smaller. Uh, did, everything went well here. Did, 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 did good in school, did good in school. Uh, went to class, went, went, to, went to cafeteria here, went to, went to like probably the fourth grade here. Sat, sat, I, sat, I, sat around, I sat around over here and played around on the playground. And... Um, Oh, you know, uh, I, li I lived right down the street. I did good in school from kindergarten to the sixth grade, and I even did extracurricular activities. The Saladesi Raphael show told me to act bad, act bad for the camera, and offered me cigarettes in her TV studio in 1995 when I was in the sixth grade. I got in a big fight between me and a group of adults. I got beat up in every school I went to. I went from good grades and extracurricular activities to getting beat up in every school I went to and never finishing school ever again. Thanks to the Salad Sir Raphael show telling me to act bad, act bad for the camera and play with cigarettes. Michael Bolden showed up at that time to help us to what? My, Michael, Bol Michael Bolden showed up to help us kind of play playfully be our friend and move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward and be friends with him as he did entertainment industry work. He, he was the number one motivator to kind of get us to playfully move forward and do entertainment work and say everything's fine let's just keep on promoting more entertainment stuff like that when i was tricked on tv and beat up in various schools that's what they did it's 2020 in oakland california charles p howard elementary school over and out justin kogo amos kogo hester families were smart on a roll at extracurricular activities 1995 the saladesi raphael show tells me 
as a little kid to be bad, be bad, be bad, and I could never finish school ever again. <laughs>